This video will show you how to use Dialogsmith's API to generate branching dialog text. Dialogsmith is a service built on top of OpenAI. You can sign up to get an API key using the link in the description below. Then enter that API key in the add-ons welcome window. We won't show that here. In this project, the Dialogsmith API key has already been entered into the welcome window. Dialogsmith generates branching dialog text based on information in actor's descriptions, a conversation's description, and dialog entries title fields. It operates on a conversation tree structure that you specify, although it can expand the tree with text variations. In this tutorial, we'll show how easy it is to generate a couple of shopkeeper conversations with interesting text relevant to each shopkeeper NPC. I'm going to create a conversation tree from a template instead of taking the time here to create a new tree. If you're not familiar with conversation templates, there's a tutorial link in the description. This conversation has some greeting text and then branches to buy items or sell items. In the template, the conversation's description explains that this is a shopkeeper conversation. In the actors section, I've defined two shopkeeper NPCs, Papadakis and Abaddon. Their description fields contain their background information, which Dialogsmith will refer to when writing dialogue. So going back to the conversation, we'll make this conversation for Papadakis. Rename the conversation and set the conversant to Papadakis. Then click the AI button in the upper right. This AI button becomes available after you've entered your Dialogsmith API key. This will open the add-on window. You can tweak the content field, which is initially a copy of the conversation's description, or just click Generate. Dialogsmith will reply with three suggested texts for each dialogue entry. It excludes dialogue entries that already have dialogue text. If a dialogue entry already has dialogue text, Dialogsmith won't overwrite it. For this conversation, let's choose only a single text for each dialogue entry. I'll go ahead and choose the ones that feel the most in character for Papadakis. Then click Accept. Observe that the dialog entries now contain the text you've chosen. We can play test it by selecting Menu Play. Now let's create a different conversation for our other shopkeeper, Abaddon. Create it from the same template. Set the conversation title and actor. Then click AI again. This time we'll keep more than one suggestion for some of the dialogue entries. When you do this and click Accept, the dialogue system will add all of the selected variants. If they're NPC lines, at runtime, one will be chosen at random. If they're player lines, they'll appear as separate choices in the player response menu. In this video, we used a Dialogsmith to quickly create two conversations with very different tones. I hope this video has shown you how Dialogsmith can speed up your dialogue creation while giving unique character to your conversations. Thanks for watching.